Welcome back to GDT Tech Reviews. In this video we are going to do a detailed review and pick the top 5 best electric bikes, 2022. So let us get started and the review based on our studies and small research. If you have any personal suggestion do let us know in the comment section. If you are for the first time don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for more videos. We will be also providing affiliates link to purchase from Amazon. Kindly use to for best offers and purchase from anywhere in the world. So let's get started. The Anchir and EB002 is an electric bike, which means it's a standard bicycle with an electric motor. You can pedal the whole way if you prefer the exercise, set the motor to low for assistance on hills, or turn it up even higher and enjoy a fully electric ride. The more you pedal, the longer the battery will last. This bike folds in half for easy transport. There's a lever at the top of the frame that holds it in place, but a firm tug on the lever will allow the frame to hinge freely. Once you've folded the bike in half, reset the lever and it will keep the bike from opening up again. The pedals are also collapsible, so it will lie flat in a trunk, or fit in narrow spaces on public transport. This bike is great for city riding. The horn is loud enough to be heard in traffic, and while the headlight isn't bright enough to ride in pitch darkness, it's bright enough to keep you visible on a city street at night. The beefy tires are good enough for trail use, but the battery and motor make this bike a little heavy for mountain biking. You can use it for that if you only have one bike, but serious mountain bikers will want something that weighs less. The an EB002 has a range of 25 to 50 km or 15.5 to 31 miles. This is longer than most city commutes and should be plenty to get you wherever you're going. VeloWave Electric Bikes comes with 48 volts slash 15 ah lithium battery with LG cells, covering a range of 25 to 40 plus miles per full charge. 25 to 40 plus mile by pedal, 35 plus mile by throttle, calculation based on rider's weight of 165 pounds range varies according to road condition, weather, rider's weight etc. Removable and waterproof battery, safe and convenient to bring home or office to recharge. Support fast charge, charge to about 80% in 4 hours, and fully charge in 8 hours. 750 watts high speed Bafong geared motor, provides strong electric power with speed reaching up to 28 miles per hour. Shimano 7 speed drivetrain smooth and responsive. Convenient control system, multiple riding modes, hydraulic disc brake system, reliable and responsive braking performance, more perfect braking experience, visual screen display automatically recognizes the remaining electromagnetic capacity and power level.26 times 4.0 fat tire, anti-skidding, wear resistant, adapt to snow, sand and various terrains. The fat tire enables smooth riding on rugged terrains means you can get more cycling experiences. High luminance headlight The bright headlight provides a safer and more enjoyable environment for night riding. The bike is surprisingly comfortable to ride. The bike seat is adjustable, quite low to entirely too high for any reasonably sized person. The handlebars are adjustable in a couple of ways, up and down as well as 360 degrees in a twist. This 360 degree adjustment matters because the handles have a unique shape that allows wrists to rest whilst riding. Using this bike is downright enjoyable. This bike is meant to be a campus commuter and for that I recommend it highly. This bike is small enough to remain innocuous but powerful enough to get me from place to place with speed. The handlebars also have a few different controls. There's a pair of brakes, which work entirely sufficiently, front and back, regardless of the speeds I've gone down very steep hills. I'm sure there's a limit for safety, but I have not yet found it. The handlebar controls also include an on-off button. It's a rather sizable button that's red, and impossible to miss. This button turns the electric part of the bike on. Once the electric motor is activated, there are two ways to engage. Pedaling with this bike engages the pedal-to-go mode. This is similar to pedal assist but ever so slightly different. Once you begin to pedal, the motor is engaged, and once you stop pedaling, the motor stops just a little over a second later. This can take some getting used to, but in the short time it took for me to get used to said process, the brakes always work to stop the bike with relative ease.
The Rad City 5 Plus is Rad Power's latest iteration of their Rad City electric commuter hybrid bike. It has an updated and retuned 750 watts motor that remains hub driven but puts out more hill defeating torque than its predecessor. A claimed 11% more range is eked out of the bike's 48 volts 14 ah battery. A sleek new look sinks the Rad City 5 Plus's battery halfway into the bike's down tube. It still uses a suspension fork but the travel is reduced, which could be seen as either a feature or a drawback. In one way, the bike is less bouncy and mountain bike like but on the other hand, there's less travel for us commuters who like to ride straight down the stairs and into the subway. It comes in one size but has an adjustable stem which helps to accommodate riders between a claimed height range of 5 apostrophe 4 to 6 apostrophe 5. The battery is still 672 watt hours, which is on the larger size of the e-bike battery spectrum. It offers reasonable range of around 25 to 50 miles depending on if you're ripping on the throttle or taking it easy with pedal assist. I've ridden plenty of rad power bikes e-bikes and range has never been issue. The second major update that will likely catch the eye is the new motor. The last Rad City was the final holdout in the Rad lineup for direct drive motors. Those were big, dinner plate size motors that took up a lot of space in the rear wheel. Now Rad has moved to a smaller, lighter but torquier geared hub motor in the rear. The downside is that you lose the regenerative braking option, even though that gave back only marginal battery charge. The upside is just about everything else. The new motor is lighter, smaller, better at hill climbing, and doesn't look like such an eyesore in the rear wheel. The main display is still in the center of the bars and offers up important data like speed, distance, power, etc. Then on the left bar end there's a combined remote and display that provides less frequently used info like pedal assist level, battery charge, and headlight status. That's all important data, but not something you're constantly looking at. Most people check their battery level once in a while, and pedal assist level is kind of a set it and forget it thing. The company offers the adventure in traditional and step-through frame options, in three sizes to accommodate riders between around 5 feet 1 inch to 6 feet 4 inches, and four colors, black, green, red, or sand. Step-through frames are easier to get on and off as well as better for riding while wearing a skirt. Traditional step-over frames are more durable and safer for off-roading, one of the primary uses of the adventure. At a weight of 73 pounds and with 26 by 4 inch front and rear fat tires, HW, the adventure is a beast of an e-bike. It features a backlit color LCD, Aventon doesn't specify the resolution, but it looks sharp, that shows your speed, battery charge, power assist level, 0 to 5, distance traveled, and other metrics as you ride. It also syncs your mileage and other metrics to the Aventon app, available for Android and iOS, and provides a standard USB a port so that you can charge your phone while you ride. The Adventure ships as a Class 2 e-bike with a 750 watts, sustained, brushless rear hub motor with 5 pedal assist levels. The throttle is capable of propelling the bike at up to 20 miles per hour even when you're not pedaling. With pedal assist, the motor only engages when the pedals are turning. When you hold down the throttle on the left handlebar, the motor engages and the bike takes off, whether you're pedaling or not, more on this in a bit. In the Aventon app, you can increase the bike's speed limit to 28 miles per hour with pedal assist, effectively turning it into a Class 3 e-bike. With the speed limit turned all the way up, the throttle still maxes out at 20 miles per hour. 